Smoke without fire, no thrill of tongues licks up the offerings in the cup. Dead falls desire, the voice of Crassus echoes, a barbarian from Britain stuck in a world of Roman sophistication. The scene is set around the hearth of Crassus, a sacred spot dedicated to the Lares and Penates, the household gods of Roman antiquity. The scent of burning sandalwood fills the air, punctuated by the spicy sweetness of benzoin and musk. Crassus stands in deep dejection, his heart yearning for his wife, Adela, a noble Roman lady who has withdrawn to the wild woods at dusk. His lament paints a vivid picture of her, Adela dancing here till dim gods did appear to work our will. The delicate girl, diaphanous gossamer, subtly revealing her brave breast of pearl. His heart aches at her absence, his love worn away to indifference. In steps Alicia, a servant in the house who brings news of Adela. I saw her follow the stream in the hollow whenever Apollo abides, she informs Crassus, her words weaving a tale of dense woods and hidden satyrs. Alicia's words are cryptic, her tone teasing, her steps a noiseless dance. She offers Crassus a deal, a chance to rekindle the dwindling flame on his hearth, a promise of happiness and wit. But at a price, his obedience and his will to dare to seek the spirit and slay the sense. Crassus, driven by his longing for his wife and the mystery she has become, agrees to Alicia's terms. He pledges his life as he had pledged his love, but Alicia warns him, O oh love, you have not understood, you have not guessed its secret food. She speaks of fear, doubt and jealousy, of love trembling like a mountebank dissembling. The Story of Household Gods by Alistair Crowley is a comedy that explores themes of love sacrifice and the pursuit of truth. It delves into the complexities of relationships, the dynamics of power and the yearning for spiritual fulfillment. It is a play that demands to be seen, to be experienced, to be felt. It is a journey into the heart of a man torn between his barbarian roots and the sophisticated world of Roman society, his love for his wife and his desire for knowledge. In essence, Household Gods is a tale of love and loss, of longing and fulfillment, of sacrifice and reward. It is a story that resonates with the human condition, that echoes with the complexities of life and relationships. It invites us to question, to ponder, to reflect on our own lives and the choices we make. It is a play that, like the faint flame on Crassus's hearth, continues to burn, continues to captivate, continues to inspire.